Welcome to Spectacle Island for episode one with me, Mr. Sealy P. I find myself standing exactly where I stood when I did my first look map tour. This is not necessarily the start of a let's play on Spectacle Island, but I do want to do an episode, this first episode, on clearing the yard. What I'm not going to do is touch those gold nuggets. I'm going to stay well clear this time. So I'm going to clear the yard. I want to have a look around, um, start cutting down some of the trees, and look at it now, look at it when it's finished. Hopefully in this episode, get it all done. That is the plan. There are a couple of bits of machinery I'm going to get rid of. Um, I'm going to sell. You do start with a lot on this, and forestry will definitely be a massive part of this map, especially, I mean, for me. I mean, not everyone's going to want to do it. Um, I'm keeping the Scorpion King. I don't tend to use pickups. Anyone from Giants, if you're watching, if ever you watch any of my videos, please do a deal with Land Rover. I just want a Defender. I just want a Land Rover. It's a small thing, but anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, start clearing up and see how we get on um, yeah that's about all there is to it really so what I'm going to do is sell a couple of its equipment I'm not going to take them down to the store it's a precarious journey at the at the best of times um, so what I'm going to do is first of all change all the settings because I've literally just put this on um, and what I will sell first of all I'm going to get rid of the pickup definitely where are we? That's not bad. Sell that. Doesn't quite give me enough of what I want to buy. Um, I'm going to get rid of the stump grinder. Yes, it's been sold. Um, what else was I going to sell? I only have one Brantner. And. I think I'm going to keep the wheel loader. I don't. You don't often start with a wheel loader, and I'll make do with other vehicles. And then you think, shall I buy one? Is it worth it? I've got one. I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to do anything with it. I think I might get rid of one of the case. 1455s though. Having three is mildly excessive. It's not the end of the world. Which one's worth the most? This one, 77. So I'm going to sell that. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, oh, I've just realised I'm going to have to go down to the store to buy or to collect what I'm going to buy. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Forestry. New mod, might as well use it. It's a cool bit of kit. I like it a lot. I'm going to get the Raybold Xylor 1613, 1613, whatever you want to call it. It's 38 grand, but it is worth every single penny, especially on this map. It's going to be perfect. So, select skid steer loader or wheel loader. I have a wheel loader. It's going on that. Lease? Not on your life. I'm buying it. Fantastic. Are you excited? I'm excited. I don't know why. Um, well, I do know why. It's a brilliant map. And I can't wait to get started. In the back of my mind, I'm in this inner turmoil where my, my head is saying, right, you've just got ready a video for the west coast you need to do one on the valley of the old farm you should really do a first look on Garal. Gura i'm not sure if it's Garal. Garal, goral anyway um that is a massive massive map um i'm trying to work out honestly trying to work out in my head how logistically to fit that into a first look i'm still struggling to work out how to do that so I've got quite a few videos I need to do and not a lot of time to get them done in. So, without further ado, um, I'm going to start sorting things out. I'll see you in a minute, probably down at the store, picking up our new uh, tree destroyer. Well, we'll call it a stump grinder, but I think we all know what it does. If you haven't watched my uh, guide too, on the triple mods that I did. One of them is the Rayboard Xylor. Have a look. Um, it is an awesome bit of equipment. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and get on with things. I will see you in a moment. I think I'll go down in the JCP. Oh no, uh, I, bet I won't be able to pick it up, will I? No, of course not. The wheel loader it is. Oh, 
I know people don't like doing it and it's not realistic. Thank you. It's not realistic in any way, shape or form. But if you reset your vehicle, this is where it will reset to. This corner of the harbour. The ship's there. We're right into, into the corner. So this is where your vehicle will, will, will reset to. I've now got to go and find the Xylor. This is not the quickest vehicle. Well, I say not the quickest. It goes at a fair speed. It just takes a while to get to that speed. I think when you buy something, then it should be up here on the ship, I believe. I did buy it, didn't I? Oh, there it is. On the deck. Brilliant. I love this whole this whole concept. Coming to a ship to pick up your stuff because it's been imported to the island. That's absolutely awesome. Right, let's drop that down. Look up. Lift that off the deck a little bit. It looks a lot more comfortable on the wheel loader than it did on the um, skid steer. I mean, it works on the skid steer perfectly, and buying the skid steer is a lot cheaper. It just looks huge on the front of the skid steer. On this, it doesn't. It looks like a relatively normal piece of equipment. Anyway, beacon on. Let's head back. I can remember my way out. Which is here. Okay. I do love the wheel loaders, especially when you get that kind of flex in the tyres, you get a little bit of bounce. I don't use them often enough, I really should do more. Although I do have to go up the path of death. Mm. If you didn't watch my first look on Spectacle Island, go and have a look. It's brilliant. It's a very, very good first look. This is the precarious part, going up the path of death. This is realistically the only way of getting up to Spectacle Farm. You can go all the way around the islands, kind of along that route there, up over there. You can go all the way around. It takes a while. Um, but then that is the safer route and if you've got big machinery you're never going to get up up along here I mean I say never you might do if you take your time but then the things like this this is quite steep oh, with your slower equipment or heavier equipment it's going to struggle so mm, yeah decision time what do you do I think definitely having that the, um, the hazard beacon on the warning beacon is going to make all the difference if I plumb it off the side. At least I'll be able to see my vehicle in the murky depths. Right, you know the dodgy bit. I think we're about halfway and we're still alive. Oh, trying to avoid all that bounce. This is going to be interesting. And we're there. Right. Oh, time to get on some work then. There have been a lot of comments left after my first look, um, and I have to say, uh, Alien Jim's been on there, he's been messaging people, uh, responding to comments, even if it's just to say thank you. He is a genuinely great bloke, he really is a really lovely, lovely bloke, um, and 
he's been trying to help people out, answering questions, that kind of thing. Um, so before I kind of move on, Snowmask is working on this. The trees changing colour with seasons isn't yet, but that's being worked on and will be. Uh, there is a minor issue, I believe, with multiplayer at the moment, which Jim is also working on. Um, so there's a few things kind of in the pipeline. One of the comments I, uh, I was kind of particularly interested in um, when I was saying on my first look was, you know, I, I was so impressed with the sound effects and all that kind of thing. And whilst most maps do have sound effects on, not all maps do. Um, and also Jim did then comment and say that he has put a lot of custom sound effects on. Plus one thing I didn't know about was the bear. Everyone's been commenting about the bear. On the map there is a cave. I think there's a nugget there. There is a bear guarding the cave. And apparently, when you find it, it does actually make a sound which has been scaring or, yeah, terrifying quite a few players. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the work. I am not going to be wood chipping. I'm not going to be cutting down the trees to earn money. Believe me, there are plenty of trees down there to do just that. What I am doing is clearing the yard. That is it. This thing, I'm going to turn on. that at the moment is just a stump grinder if I do if I think now it's a circle not circle no. X yeah if I do X these little plowshare things come out the bottom that's plowing I'm not plowing anything I'm just stump grinding so hopefully what should happen and let's see if it does if it doesn't I'm very disappointed but it should do um, what should happen is now if I destroy this tree here I hit the brick wall with it, of course. And try and do a stump out as well. Now, that one's gone, but I didn't notice what went with it. There was still some rubble there, and there's still bags of rubbish. So, maybe I need to do... I don't know, I'm just going to keep doing it. I'll just keep cutting trees down. I don't know if they all, which ones need doing, all of them, some of them, none of them, I don't know. Let's just keep going. Oh, that's not one that can be done. Okay, that's not going to work then. Imagine this one here needs to be done. It was that side of the fence, wasn't it? For some reason, my eyesight was saying it was the other side. Right through the bushes. Great. Let's crack on. Um, all of you that have been commenting to say how cool it is, I've got my own farm. <laughs> it is a truly amazing like I said uh, anyone that's commented Jim is an incredibly gracious man it's a lovely thing to do and I appreciate it massively that's another one gone Ooh, I'm starting to panic now I haven't seen anything go <laughs> nervous right okay well I'm going to keep going as soon as something obvious disappears, I will point it out. I'm hoping it's not because I'm doing it with a different machine, whether I should have been doing it with something else. I don't know. There's something of a worry. Do you see anything vanish? Oh no, it's still stuck there. I did miss that. Keep an eye out.
anything? Okay, I'll just keep going then. I suppose it depends which trees are aligned with which piles of rubble and bushes and things, huh? Like I said, I'm just going to keep ploughing on now. This thing is an awesome bit of kit. What a truly terrifying piece of machinery. Now, if it turns out I've done something wrong, then what I'll probably do is, uh, if, if I have, then I might have to restart this whole episode, so we'll see. Thing. No idea. Right, I'm going to carry on and we'll see what happens. I'm slightly puzzled now.
Right, let's turn that off. And that, I believe, is it. <coughs> I have to say, I'm still smiling. It's such a clever idea. All the damaged vehicles have gone. Piles of rubbish, the bags, the bushes. It's so clever. Now I'm wondering if I've missed a tree. Still got that there. Or whether that's just my rubbish from the, you know, from the caravan. Um, the other thing people have been asking, um, Jim, is about the farmhouse itself. Unfortunately, because of the way this works, this is uh, like a placeable when you're making the map. And Jim said if there was any way that he could have made it so that when you finish clearing up that then had become kind of a pristine building, he would have done. But that he couldn't work out any way of doing that. Um, if ever, I imagine, if he manages to work out how to do it, he'll probably do it on another map. But we are done. We are cleaned up. I can't, I can't get over the difference. It's amazing. It really, really is absolutely incredible and still blows my mind what a clever idea I say such a simple idea it's not a simple idea and I would imagine sorting it all out took ages but it's brilliant so anyway there we go so that's it spectacle farm the yard is clear that's what I set out to do in this episode uh, I'm not sure as it stands at the moment Let's just drop that off and leave that there. Um, where I stand time-wise, this may be a fairly short first episode, or, depending on how I edit it, it could be a very long one. Who knows? But even the cracks, if, if you remember... Oh, it's hard. If you remember at the start, when I, when I was doing it, around this area here, I think over in the larger area there, there were cracks across the tarmac as well, or the concrete, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's all cleared as well brilliant absolutely brilliant but that's the yard done so spectacle farm is ready for business and that's it that's the end of this episode i hope you've liked it i hope you found it informative and useful in some way if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you choose to do thanks for watching